KO or hurt early. As long as you're not losing stocks, you're doing okay. So you got to avoid the win conditions and then just destroy her when you catch onto the habits. But Bonkai's playing hot today. See what he can do here in this winner side set against Luminous, the Dark Pit. Go with Dark Pit too instead of the regular pit. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe he likes the arrows better or something like that. It's arrow side B. Couple small changes between the two of them, so we'll see. Maybe it's just preference, who knows? But killing Zero Suit is gonna be super important. Yeah, it's definitely, I think, the damage that the arrows do, but also the properties of the arrows. One is absorbed as energy, the other one just is a straight up projectile. I'm not sure which is which uh, right offhand, but uh, if I had to guess, I'd say, I'd say Dark Pits is, is the physical one. It, it just kind of feels that way. It's, I it's think you're right. You have less yeah. control over it too. Like the angles you can shoot it are like super low. The other one's very mobile. It just hits. It doesn't hit as hard. So, I think I don't know, man. We'll see. Right now, it's looking good for Luminous. That's damage right there. Okay. Got a got a little more tension in the bow of Dark Pit. Let's say so. Uh, looking for uh, looking for a little heavier of a hit, and certainly might just be finding a heavy hit, but not for their benefit. That's Bonkai connecting with what else would it be? The down smash into the boost kick. Not quite going to kill off of the corner as of yet. Lumen is still at a relatively low percentage. And yeah, uh, we've seen Bankai punish those uh, errant jump-ins. Luminous more than content to do that as well, courtesy of Pitt's ferocious up smash. That, that down smash hitting, is that was just ignorant, honestly. That was ridiculous. I can't believe it connected behind him straight up. I'm pretty, I'm re-watching it right now. Yeah, I was like kind of on top of him, actually. It wasn't that ridiculous. Yeah. It looked more ridiculous in the moment. In hindsight, not too bad. Side B though, gonna catch him. Luminous dropping his first stock. Bankai only taking 12%, but he put himself like in that position, he ran right to the ledge and surrendered all stage control and put him in disadvantage without pressing a button or doing anything. He just moved to a spot on the map because he's scared of Luminous coming down from the Halo platform. I think with Zero Suit, you wanna use your mobility, kind of jump around and trick around the platforms a little bit more and try to hold onto that center stage, even though they're gonna be invincible. I think you can do it with her. Going right to the ledge is like, you, you just give up stage control and Luminous took full advantage of that. Very good recognition by him. Looking for that little get back uh, down B. And again, yeah, that's uh, being able to shield his pit with that down B. It uh, definitely helps, especially with the danger of Paralyzer coming up. You just never know when they're going to deploy it. Or certainly if uh, someone decides to get cheeky with it and deploy it. They're really looking for that mash out down smash. Bankai knows their stuff with ZSS and is certainly willing to uh, take a chance on it. However... Getting their jump caught yet again. I mean, how many times are we going to see them get caught by flip kick? But uh, Bankai is still surviving, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Just holding on here. I feel like we've seen Bankai live to a lot of you know good percentages against powerful characters. Peach, uh, Dark Pit, like just living for a while. The 133 is nothing to sniff at or nothing to sneeze at. Is that what the term is? Yeah, it's nothing to sneeze at. There we go. There we go. I got it. Here we go. Pressure. There are a few things you want to be sneezing at these days. I'm just saying. But <laughs> yeah, right. What? What oh, an you're not oh, ready on the tech, dude. Bankai again off stage, man. I'm telling you, he's getting a little too. He's getting a little too silly. He's feeling himself though. You gotta respect that. I'm, I am this close to driving down to Center City and revoking his Texylvania driver's license. I swear <laughs> on on God, I'm about to do that. But either way, it's gonna be a, uh, a tilt that sends Bankai off just a little bit and looking for the boost kick to try to finish it off. I don't know if that was a, a miss input. I can only. Uh, I can only hazard a guess, Hazmat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rapid jabs. Oh. Barely missing with the mark there. Looking for an up smash. Bankai's got to chill with these KO options. And, and he's pulling the trigger on a lot of buttons right now. Just relax. You don't have a flip jump. You might be dead. Yeah. He's just dead. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think if he grabs a ledge, I don't think you can make it back. So. Maybe getting a little tilted at the uh, at the end, trying to go for those kill options and simply not finding it. Luminous. Yeah. Letting. Uh, Letting Bankai just kind of fight Invisible Swordsman, it seemed. And it's uh, going to be 1-0 for Luminous as we take a look at some of the replays here. This was the second stock that wound up getting taken. And yeah, that's uh, that's a, that's one that Bankai is going to want back. Yeah, but you know, Bankai, like I said, he's playing hot tonight. He's just making a couple decisions and putting himself in uh, interesting positions that aren't really paying off. I, I just think the arrow caught him by complete surprise. Also, teching online, that's a move that's like... How many times have you had to tech Dark Pit's arrow sending you into the state, especially Battlefield, which kind of has the funky uh, edges around the side? So it's like, you can't really practice that one. You kind of just have to be ready for it. I, I definitely wasn't, so I don't blame Bankai for that one, but good recognition by Luminous, dude. That was sick. 
I that mean, was I, sick. So while I don't necessarily blame Bonkai, it's more just the fact that, I mean, you're under the stage. You never know what you're going to get hit by. You should just be ready to tech no matter what, I feel like. And that maybe that's just me. I don't necessarily think that it was a bad play, what they were going for. But still, it's uh, it's you always got to be ready with your... Uh, as good as your offensive stuff is, you always have to predicate it with solid defense and uh, evasion and being ready to have the tech on deck. So simply not able to happen uh, that time. Luminous is going to have an advantage going into game number two and is catching him with the frame five down smash. And you got to love it when you have an option like that because it's almost like this great equalizer against flip kick if it winds up missing the mark. Yeah, it, I mean, dude, in terms of her kit, you also have to love the Nair on shield into a frame one jab. Like, all right, hold on a sec. <laughs> like, who put those two things together? And not only that, but up, up uh, Nair, you get, oh, hold on. Movement. Bankai. 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 Okay. Not isn't quite. That from, it's from an anime, isn't it? Bankai? I'm isn't sure it, it is. But... Is he an anime guy? I actually don't know. I mean, if you're oh. talking about if you're talking about Bonkai, the actual player, yes, absolutely. But okay. um, yeah, I mean that's my way of saying e boy. But either way, uh, oh, I see it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so side B, not going to connect, but at least drawing out the getup so you can get the grab and win advantage yet again. And the plasma whip will connect that time. Bonkai in the driver's seat on this Ooh. one. Luminous. The burden is on them to make it back, and they will via Angel Platform. Problem is, you're down one stock at that point. Yeah, dude, again, I got to point out, though, I love Luminous's awareness with the arrows. Dude, you see him shoot one straight up to try to defend himself in the air flip kick? Oh, it was okay. nice. It was, it was smart. Nice. It was a nice little option. It's cheeky from Luminous, and you do definitely appreciate... Uh, I mean, certainly, Bankai has an appreciation for Luminous's arrow play after that game number one. Certainly after the second stock, as we mentioned prior. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, this is one of those things that, again, if you're Luminous, you can shield and certainly ready to deploy that. But everything is uh, everything is there to be broken, shields and stocks, as Luminous is going to have theirs uh, broken, their second one, Ooh. courtesy of that... Uh, courtesy of that edge play there from Bankai and certainly going off of the ledge is not something that Bankai is afraid of doing but I mean I kind of wonder at what point you're getting a little too uh you know a little too dangerous with it air touching it was so risky there hold on fair single hit forward smash nice I would have liked to see a King Chris run, push him towards the ledge, and up B. It might have done it, honestly. It would have been close. It would have been very close. But you either wanna, way... Either you want to know how much of an institution Lights is in these uh, in these brackets? He just called Bankai King Chris. But that's... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, King Chris would have gone for... I think that's what I would have liked to see, is the King Chris option. Because oh. he does that. Like, he pushes them and, and then up Bs. Sorry, yeah, lights, lights, yeah. Sorry, all these guys changing their tags, man, you know? Can't keep up with them, but either way, Stu, Too the arrows fair, are yeah. coming in. Up E. Yeah, oh, the it. burial, and yeah, Bankai evening things up at one courtesy of the boost kick, and into the corner, Luminous goes, and well, into game three we go, Hazmat, and uh, what are you sure. noticing uh, from both of these players thus far. What's their win condition for this game three? We've seen a primer yeah. of it, but you need something to finish this off. I think game two was just Bankai cooking, man. I think he was moving incredibly well around the platforms. He was recovering well. He wasn't messing around off stage too much. Like even when he lost his flip jump there, like he lost it to the arrow, but he, he didn't like freak out. Like he just air dodged, simply made it back to the stage. Like didn't overthink it. Like when Bankai is playing, uh, Kind of point blank, like playing point A to point B. I think he's playing incredibly. When he tries to get a little fancy with it, he either cooks super hard or might lose a stock uh, himself a little bit early. So I think it's kind of on Luminous here to make the adjustments because that was, dude, Bankai was running right. He looked like prime and ready for, like, that was great zero suit action, especially around the platform. So, well, yeah, mean, man. You say, like, getting fancy, but that doesn't necessarily mean sticking to bread and butters, I would imagine. Mm. Yeah, I just mean, like, putting himself off stage unnecessarily, basically. Like, just his lead trapping's good. Like, I think you should trust his lead trapping a little bit more. Zero Suit's obviously pretty strong off stage, but I think she's a really good lead trapper, especially the way Bankai's been looking at her, so. So I cutting should... down on the overextensions uh, off stage under the, under the ledge. I think that's probably the biggest thing. I think he's playing neutral great. I think Luminous needs to uh, fight out of the disadvantage here, though. He lost one of his jumps. 
Look at Bankai, man. Like, look at, he's just move. He's moving. Like, and when you move like that, you can tell he's playing confidently. He's hitting all of his raw back airs, all this stuff. Up B. Oh. It's, it's the tri-stage movement, baby. You gotta love mm -hmm. it. Uh, this, is just, uh, this is what Bankai does. Trying to two-frame with the down smash. We've seen Bankai get uh, a few kills off of that as well. Talk about the King Chris options. We've seen that a few <laughs> times here at DNA, but that's... Uh, Bankai keeping space and doing Ooh. it quite Ooh. well with the Plasma Whip and chasing him down with the flip kick. It's not just a defensive option. Dude, he's playing amazing right now. Luminous trying to find his way in. Even look at how he uses the initial, best initial dash in the game from Zero Suit. He parried and just ran away and tried to see what the option was. But Luminous was smart not to continue holding forward there. He backed off as well. So that was just good recognition by both of them. But Bankai with the lead. Looking for the up smash. It should do it. Yep, right off the top. Bankai. Drawing first blood in this pivotal game three for both these players. Loser is out of the tournament, Stu. A lot on the line here. Yeah, and the winner of this one moving on into Loser's final where they are going to face off against Soul Hex. So quite a lot on the line, perhaps a favorable matchup for both of these. But then again, you're talking about uh, facing Bowser, not necessarily uh, the chaos, the, ele the agent of chaos that is Soul Hex. So continuing on, we're seeing some... Uh, Quality stuff from both players, but obviously the advantage to Bankai until you get something like that. You're at a high enough percentage where you're going to die, Has, but it still kind of hurts getting caught like that. Yeah, for sure. And that was big for Luminous because now he can start marching. This is what we saw a lot of in game one where you got his aerials juggles. They really add up quickly on Zero Suit. So I think Luminous just needs to play nice and patient and chill. Good job recognizing he's in the disadvantage of Bankai's keeping him there. These turnaround backers are so quick and helping out Bankai so much. They've been so much of his offense. That flip kick, no. almost going to do it. Almost. Okay, not, not again. That's what I'm yep. saying. Bankai got right back to the stage. He, he got hit with that arrow and he said, I'm not messing with you. You're right. I don't want to throw away any stocks. I don't want to throw away a lead here foolishly. I've already done that enough times tonight. <gasps> oh, <laughs> but you have to be ready. You know what? We were making a big deal out of ZSS's back air. Well, Pitt's back air has been just as deadly for quite a bit now. Has. <gasps> and now it's one stock that will settle it here on Final Destination. Bracket dreams will be buried before our eyes right here and right now. Luminous trying to make sure that it's not them. Has tournament glory in their sights for the first time in a while. Looking for the podium finish, but Bankai not done yet. I think Bankai was looking for exactly that option. We see Bankai so aggressive at the edge. Luminous, he did side B off of it before, using the armor and the power to scare him away. But Bankai, that was in game two, and that worked out pretty nicely for Luminous. But Bankai was ready for it here. This is death percentage at the ledge for Luminous, though. So. Skirts by him. Take that center stage. Hold it, baby. There you go. There you go. There you go. Catching with the. Uh, I like how we're just repeating each other now. Beautiful. Oh, no it's gonna way. be up here catching with the very tip of the sword, and you go into the helicopter blade. You do not come out in one piece. It's not that light, works. but certainly is luminous as they move on by a score of two to one. We're gonna take a look at the replays. I'm trying to remember. Okay, yeah. this is game three. Do do do. First stock. What's he got here? Up smash. Yep. Wow. Yeah. What a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with you, Chris. We I only give you the good stuff. Good. Now, that was clean. I'll yeah, give that you that one. one. What a chase down there from. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's how it, this is how it wound up getting evened up. Luminous. Yeah. Picking things out and uh, yeah, that's another missed like, tech. No, yeah, that was a missed tech straight up. That's three missed techs from Bankai tonight for stocks. And the thing is, you were talking about this. Bankai did wow. not give them a whole lot of opportunities to give them uh, to give the kills uh, below the stage in that game number three. But the ones that Luminous wound up earning, well, they're the ones that uh, they did not miss. So yeah. you know, it doesn't matter if you only get one swipe at it. If you connect on that one, you're sitting pretty. And obviously that last stock, uh, that might haunt Bankai for a while. That's, some, that's a learning experience.